Definitely, definitely. So you mentioned Dame. I want to go right back to you. Uh -huh. What are some of those things that you think as you look at Dame's game, your game, and also your guys' personality? Because yeah. as an observer, I see similarities, but I want to know yeah. what do you see in comparison between you two, and how do you feel like you can best help them? Yeah, um, th there are a lot of similarities, you know, with us two. I think personality-wise, both of us, um, I think, are pretty good leaders. Mm -hmm. um, Game-wise, the demeanor is pretty much the same. Um, the competitiveness is pretty much the same. We both, obviously, were shooters. He's a better shooter than me. Uh, but he's a lot more... I think he's a lot more athletic and faster than I ever was. Um, but it's just so many, like, he, he cares. Like, he, everybody knows Dame, and he just really cares, you know, and he doesn't have this, like, sense of entitlement because he's the best player. Um, he does what everybody on the team does, and he, doesn't, he does it at the same time as everybody, and it just sets a great standard, you know. And I could just remember I was pretty much the same way. And I think because of that, um, you have incredible buy-in from the guys, from the community, from your staff, um, because it's all about that humility that you spoke about. So that's why not only us, but the entire world loves Dane. That's the reason why. Agree. Uh, Joe, you, you're spending all your time working to give this man a roster that can go out there and compete. What have your last few months been like from free agency, draft, summer league, what was it like? We made a decision early on, you know, going back to February to reshape our roster. We wanted to be really aggressive and make a lot of different changes. And, you know, we said at the time, it's a lot easier tearing it down than it is building it back up. In February, we tore it down. Our challenge this last off season May, June, July was to build it back up. And we weren't sure how long that would take or what that would exactly look like, but the way the pieces fell, it worked out, we thought, really well for us. You know, we were able to get Jeremy Grant via trade, Gary Payton via free agency, drafted two good young players that we like and Shaden Sharp and Jabari Walker. So we feel like we've significantly changed not just our talent base, but also our mentality where we want to you know, play his style of play, get tougher, be good teammates, play together, compete every night. So we we know we've got much more work to do, but we're very content with how the pieces have fallen so far. Dwayne, as Joe was putting this team together and Coach Billups is coaching them, getting ready to compete, what can fans expect when they go to Moda Center just in terms of the arena? Is, is there any new stuff going on in the arena? What can they expect? Yeah, I mean, before I answer that, it's funny. We had a call last week, and Chauncey's describing the way he wants the team to play, and you get goosebumps just hearing him talk about it. So it's 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 awesome to be a part of the, this group, and, and, you know, we meet almost on a weekly basis to kind of go through things, and um, it's just that part's really exciting. So for, for our fans, you know, uh, we're, we're still obviously coming out of a pandemic in some ways, so this will be the first year we're kind of back to – normal, whatever that new normal is. And so what I've said is that uh, if you haven't been to a game since before the pandemic, your experience better be better because there's a lot of reasons over the last few years that, that the world has created for you not to come to events or not to come to games, or maybe it's just too, too much traffic, too much other things going on. So we've made some changes on that in that side to help really reduce friction about coming to a game. So that's not super exciting, but we really know that for our fans, like getting in the building, that's gotta be quick. Getting, getting to parking's gotta be quick. The food options, all that stuff needs to be dialed in. Um, so that's been a primary focus of ours is really just get ourselves into whatever that new normal is. Um, you know, and we're excited about, I think, different opportunities that we can do in the areas like the club level that we're talking about, make that more of an exclusive club. We're talking about, um, you know, we have tons of concerts coming in this fall. That's been a glut of shows that were postponed that we're all trying to get in. So, uh, you know, I think for us, it's just getting back to basics in some way and making fans feel both safe and comfortable and, and frictionless as they walk in. And I want to go back to, to CB, to Coach Billups, really quick, because he has mentioned before 
uh, how much he appreciates the shared humility between Joe and Dwayne in leading business operations and basketball operations. He shares in that as well. He's not going to sit here and just tell you that, but he does. And so what I want to know from you, Coach, is you won a championship as a player. You're trying to do the same thing now as a coach. In addition to that shared humility, what are some of the other attributes you are seeing in the leadership group, both with you three, and also we talk about Damian Lillard leading on the floor. What are some of those championship type of attributes you're seeing in the current group you're working with? Yeah, well, I could, you know, first of all, speak for this group. Um, I just think the best thing I could say is just, it's just a collective collaboration. Um, we're all on the same page. You know, we all have really good synergy. Um, Joe and I obviously have a, a history, you know, going back from high school, been knowing each other for quite a while and uh, just kind of meeting Dwayne, but we're all really new in our roles, you know, and I think that we all have a level of patience with each other because we don't know everything. We don't have all the answers. So we're asking each other a lot of questions, you know, um, there's a lot of experience here, but not as the head guy. Um, and we don't lose sight of that. You know, we don't lose sight of that. We don't, we're not unrealistic in how we do things. And I love that, you know, it's no pressure, it's no stress. I know for me, you know, being hired by another GM and when they make the change, that's a scary position for a coach because I wasn't who Joe hired, you know. Um, however, we have this incredible relationship and we see the game the right way. We see people the right way. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know, for me. But it all starts at the top, you know. Um, and I, I tell you, since I've been in this position, I mean, Jody has been incredible um, in just being so supportive. You know, we, we have a lot of asks mm -hmm. from, from Jody, and she's never said no. Um, she understands what we like, what we want. And sometimes I'm coming to Joe saying, Joe, you ask her. <laughs> 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 you, you make the ask. And, and he always does, and she always says yes, man. Yeah. She always says yes. <laughs> and so it starts there, and then it bleeds down to this level, you know, well, Joe and Dwayne's level, and then I'm obviously level under that, but to just to have that synergy, um, that vertical alignment has is, is been, is been a blessing for me in my first year, and obviously it was a really tough first year, so you need support. Um, so it's, it's been awesome, man. 